um, several stable pools on per finance uh, using Viper were exploited on July 30th. Um, but several stable pools on Curve Finance using Viper were exploited on July 30th with losses reaching $24 million at the time of writing. According to Viper, it's 0 0.215, 0 0.216, and 0 0.3.0 versions are vulnerable to malfunctioning re entrancy locks. Uh, the investigation is ongoing, but any project relying on these versions should immediately reach out to us. Uh, Viper wrote on X, we're running a large white hat rescue operation. Please reach out if you think you're affected as a project. According to initial investigations, some versions of the Viper compiler do not correctly implement the reentrancy guard, which prevents multiple functions from being executed at the same time by locking a contract. And reentrancy attacks can potentially drain all funds uh, from a contract. A number of decentralized finance projects were affected by the attack. Uh, decentralized exchange uh, ellipsis reported that a small number of stable pools uh, with BNB were exploited using an old Viper uh, compiler. Alchemix also witnessed $13.6 million outflow along with $11.4 million exploited out JPEGs. And the exploit sparked panic across the DeFi ecosystem prompting a wave of transactions across pools and a rescue operation from white hats. Data from CoinMarketCap shows Curve Finance's utility token Curve Dow declining over 5% in reaction to the news. CRV's liquidity has declined significantly in recent months, making it vulnerable to violent price swings, Cointelegraph reported. Uh, Curve Finance is a DeFi protocol that enables the decentralized exchange of stable coins within Ethereum.